Welcome to the Making Your Own Digital Badges in the Awards Tool demo. In this demo, you will learn how to use the Awards Tool to make and add digital badges to your courses allowing your course to be even more interactive. At the end of this demo, you will be able to create your own digital badges which can then be released to your students based on release conditions that you set. First, log in to your D2L Brightspace account and go into your course. From the Other Tools drop down menu or the Edit Course link, choose the Awards option. This tool has four tabs across the top Class List Awards, Course Awards, My Awards, and View Available Awards. In the Class List Awards tab, you will be able to see the awards each of the students in this course has earned. This would be considered the leaderboard. However, the students do not see this tab. In the course awards, you will see the awards being used in this course. This is also where you will add awards to your course. The My Awards tab shows the awards you have earned in all of your courses and the View Available Awards shows awards that are available for students to earn in this course. Let's start creating a badge. Start by clicking the Course Awards tab. Then click the Add Award to Course button. Click the Create Award button. Scroll down to the bottom of the page and find the Choose Award Image section. Click the Create Your Own Award Image link. On the next screen, you will need to enter your email address and click the Submit button. I start building my badges by working on the background image to the foreground image, which means you will want to start with the tool at the bottom of the list called Shapes and work your way up. You do not need to add something from every tool to your badge. Take a moment to play around with this website and become familiar with it before you start to build the badge that you will want to use in your course. Note that the placement of some items can be moved. You can use the horizontal and vertical sliders or you can click on the slider and then use the corresponding arrow key for more precise movement. When you are done, click the Download Badge button. This is an important step, as this is not being saved anywhere on the website. The file will probably be saved in your Downloads folder on your computer as badge.ping. Go back to the browser tab that has D2L Brightspace open in it. It should still be open to the Create and award page. Enter a name for your badge. Enter a description for your badge in the description field. You will want to describe the purpose of this badge and or how a student can earn it. In the award type drop down menu, select badge. Under availability, you can choose to make this award available for use to other instructors but it will always be available to you to use in your courses. In the expiry section, you can choose to have an expiration for the badge. The expiration date can be set to never. A fixed date, it can be set to expire so many days after it has been earned, or a certain day of the month after the badge has been earned. You can also set it to notify users so many days before the badge expires. Now you can upload the image that you just created. Click the Upload New Icon button. Navigate to your Downloads folder and locate the badge.ping file. Select this file and click Open. Lastly, change the issuer name and the email address under Issuer Contact to match your contact information. 
Then click the Save button to save your badge. Now you will need to add release conditions to the award, which will tell D2L when the student has earned each particular award. Click the Edit Properties link to the right of one of the awards. In the Credits field, you can enter the number of credits you want this award to be worth. This field can be left blank if you would like. Please note that these credits will not be entered into your gradebook. Checking the box next to Award Hidden until Earned will not show the award in the View Available Awards tab for the students. Click the Create button to set the release conditions for this award. You can add multiple release conditions for an award. This will allow you to require the students to either meet multiple conditions in order to earn the award or let you set it so that as long as one of the conditions are met, the student will be able to earn the award. Next, you will need to choose the release condition type and set the condition details. Some release conditions will have additional setup steps. Complete the release condition setup and click the Create button. To add additional release conditions, you will need to click the Create button again and complete the setup of the release condition. Then, from the drop-down menu, above the release conditions, you will want to choose either all conditions must be met or any condition must be met. Click the Save button to save the changes to the properties of your award. You have now successfully created and set up your own digital badge in the awards tool.